Hi everyone, Dennis here, and in this video I'm going to unbox and share my first impressions of a Tough a Needle mattress that I purchased from Amazon.com. I just moved into a new apartment, so I needed to buy a new mattress. And at first I didn't know anything about Tough a Needle, but as I began to research different websites, read reviews, and read different articles, I found that Tough a Needle is like the Warby Parker of mattresses, where they have cut out all the middlemen and vertically integrated their company to reduce costs and ultimately pass on those cost savings to you and I as the consumer. So I was super excited to check out this mattress. I ordered a king size mattress, and you'll be surprised, king size is a pretty large mattress, but they were able to fit it in this box. Uh, nonetheless, this is still a pretty big box. I'm about six foot, this box is just under four foot, and it weighs uh, almost 100 pounds. So something to note for those of you who are living in an apartment like myself, uh, to make sure you have a dolly uh, when you pick up this package if you leave it at the uh, your front lobby and make sure you have an extra set of hands because it is a, a heavy uh, box to carry uh, but let's take a look, closer look at the box as you can see here it's a, it's a pretty nice box it's a white box and it has the letter t the ampersand symbol here for the uh, for the word and and on the other side it has the letter n uh, representing tough and needle um, on the box, they also uh, advertise that they uh, manufacture and design the mattress in the United States. So if you're interested in purchasing American -made, an American-made product, this is a great product for that. Um, and on the other side of the box, um, they also advertise that they're all about having a quality mattress and, uh, sell, and selling it at a fair price. So if you go on their website, they actually itemize the different components uh, required to manufacture a mattress and the costs associated with those components. And uh, they're essentially trying to show us, show you, that uh, they're not trying to rip us off uh, by, by overpricing a mattress. So it's a pretty nice little feature that they have. Now, the thing that I am a little concerned about with this box is that there are some dings in the box. So, uh, you know, here's a, a nice big divot there. So, I'm hoping that when I open the box, just the, the mattress itself is not damaged. It looks like it probably isn't. It looks like I can see in here that there's there's a, a bit of a gap between the box and the actual mattress itself. But uh, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, open up this box. Because this box is so big, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down on the side. I have a box cutter here to, uh, to unpackage it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, lay this guy down here. Oh man, it's heavy. And uh, I'm gonna just carefully uh, cut the tape here without making sure that I don't cut into the mattress itself. There we go. Looks like they have uh, some tough and needle stickers here in case you want to uh, help advertise tough and needle. And here they have a, uh, looks like a thank you card as well as some instructions on how to open uh, the mattress to get the mattress opened. Um, so we'll take a look at that in, in a little bit. Out here. This thing is, this thing is big. I don't know if you see it with the video there, but it's pretty big. I'm going to cut open the other side. giant roll that they have vacuum sealed into this plastic uh, plastic uh, wrapping. Uh, so it's a very, very uh, condensed, uh, condensed package. But let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions that they have here. Um, it says to place the mattress roll at one end of the bed frame, cut the first plastic layer and roll onto the frame, and then cut the second plastic layer and watch it expand. So there's actually two plastic layers on this mattress, which is pretty nice to keep it uh, keep it safe and then, uh, and then that's pretty much it. Sounds pretty easy so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this onto my bed frame and start the unpackaging it. All right so after a little tool error I went and grabbed some scissors that I used to cut open the mattress. That's some feedback for toughening it right there. Make sure you state specifically to use a pair of scissors because guys like me will probably use anything that's sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy open.
All right, so there we go. I was able to take the first layer of plastic off and uh, not too difficult to take off. It's just uh, a lot of plastic, so it took a little while. And it looks like the mattress is actually folded in half, so I'm going to unfold it and lay it across the entire platform of my bed. So give me a sec while I adjust the camera. All right, so here's the uh, mattress. I'm going to take off the rest of the uh, plastic, and I'm going to spread the entire mattress across the, uh, the bed. spread across the bed and now I'm going to remove the next layer of plastic on this mattress. Now I'll make note that uh, as I remove this next layer the bed is supposed to instantly fill up with air uh, and uh, really puff up to 10 inches in, in, in height. What's actually kind of cool is that you can actually hear uh, the bed filling in air. It's actually a cool sound. See, you should be able to have seen the, it rose quite a bit uh, in just a few seconds, so it's pretty, pretty cool to see. off the bed. I'm gonna straighten it up here. Uh, looks like it's pretty full all the way. There you go, I just took off all the plastic off this mattress and uh, set it on the bed. It's all straight and nice on the bed now. Uh, as you saw, I did it all by myself, but uh, after doing that, I will say that uh, it's probably a good idea to have a friend help you with the unpackaging and, and setting up with this mattress because it is pretty heavy and doing it by yourself can be uh, pretty strenuous. Uh, but with that said, in terms of first impressions, the material of the mattress is, is very nice. Um, now on the website they did mention that uh, they do recommend to have a mattress cover on this, this bed uh, to help protect against spills, uh, to help protect against uh, you know, your, 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 your skin peeling onto the mattress and to really prolong the, the life of the mattress. So it's not a requirement, but it is a recommendation and I myself decided to go ahead and buy a mattress cover. It was only 40 bucks. I'll do a review on that later on. Uh, but other than that, in terms of the way the mattress feels, it feels very soft. It doesn't feel like a standard kind of memory foam mattress that, uh, especially like a mattress topper that I've uh, purchased in the past. It actually feels uh, more sturdy than that, if that makes any sense. Um, and uh, it feels good. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, what's really cool about uh, this company also is that they have a 100 day trial period where basically you can use the mattress for 100 days. And for whatever reason, if you don't like the mattress, if you don't like the feel of it, you are more than welcome to contact the company and send the mattress back. So I'm looking forward to trying out this mattress for the next uh, several weeks. And uh, if I have any issues, I'll be sure to post a video about that. But as far as I can tell, uh, this feels like it's going to be a good mattress and it uh, feels like it was a good buy. Thank you for visiting my website and uh, be sure to check out uh, my other videos. And if you found this video helpful, Please like, share, and comment on it. Thank you.